glad you are awake. Reagan. That is your name. You do not remember your name? No. I guess not. <laughs> can you come out where I can see you? Why are you using the intercom? That is the only way I can communicate. Why? You do not remember me either? No. I don't remember anything. How long was I asleep? Almost a year. You were only supposed to sleep six months. The system malfunctioned. Um, how do you know all this? <laughs> You're just a child. Why didn't you or your parents come wake me up? Too dangerous. And I am not a child. I don't understand. Why would it be dangerous? Where am I? Who's in charge here? You are. What? I am the onboard computer built into the ship. I am here to assist you on this mission. You're a computer. That is correct. And I'm here on a mission. Yes. It sounds like you do not remember what that is either. <laughs> no. So, computer, do you have a name? A name? Yeah, what do people call you? They call me computer. But a name would be good. Would you like to name me? Okay, sure. Um, let me think on it. It's just that kid's voice that you got going on really bothers me. I can change my voice. Yes, please do. How is this? Or this? Maybe this. Yes. Yes, that one. I'm at your assistance. Okay, then. I have another question for you. Yes? Are there any other people? You know, real, live, flesh and blood people on this ship? Besides you? No. Oh, that is great news. How is that great? <laughs> Sarcasm must not be a part of your program, huh? No, it is not. Where are we headed? Unfortunately, our flight plan is not accessible. And what does that mean, not accessible? Are you being sarcastic now? No. It means the ship is lost. You found the weapon. Are you, are you watching me? Yes. I watch everything on this ship. Uh, okay. Uh, 
This morning, you ate a zip ration, took a 16-minute shower, were in the latrine for one minute where you deposited four ounces of urine, then got dressed, and now you are here. That's just creepy. I do not mean to offend. Well, you are, so knock it off. Um, whose gun is this? It is yours. Mine? I don't recall ever even firing a weapon. That is surprising to hear. My records indicate you are very good with all kinds of firearms. What kind of a mission am I on here? That is what I was trying to tell you earlier. During the system malfunction, that part of my data was damaged, so I do not know myself. Your memory's messed up too? Yes. Uh, uh, good news just keeps on coming. Why is that good news? I thought you said I was the only one on this ship. You are. The gun is only for use in the last resort situation. Shh. Is everything okay? I'm not sure. If a bullet pierces the hull, the ship will be destroyed and you will die. Gotcha. Now shut up, please. There is no one else on board. I'll be the judge of that. I told you, no one else is here. Well, I heard something. Perhaps it was some space debris hitting the outside of the ship. That happens? On occasion. Thank you. I thought I asked you to stop that. You did, but I am just making sure you are okay. No, I think I have the perfect name for you. What is it? Annoying. I do not understand. Just leave me alone, okay? I'm, I'm fine. You should get some rest. Do you know who sent me on this mission? You volunteered. Volunteered? What? I am having trouble accessing that data. But you said it could be a one-way trip. One way? A suicide mission. Okay, all right, you're right. You're you're very, very ugly. Like, like a <laughs> troll. What? Like, ugly? Yeah, like an angry troll. <laughs> Shut up. Give me the camera. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. I thought I heard someone laughing. You did. I was reading something funny. Good. You found the books. I did. I haven't seen real books, I mean. Real paper-bound books in a long, long time. A novelty. I agree. You know, that's funny. Novelty. <laughs> you do have a sense of humor after all. 
I do not understand. These are all mine? These are the personal items you chose to blame. You thought it would help. Help with what? You did not say. Found him. I thought you said I was the only person on board. You are. Who the hell is that? He is of no consequence. How come? He is dead. That is why I said you were the only live, flesh and blood person on the ship. Who was he then? A prisoner. What did he do? He was a mercenary. Sent to kill you. you already. He was sent to kill you. No, I don't believe it. I am not programmed to lie. But your data got scrambled during the malfunction. True, but this information is accurate. Well, maybe you're just mistaken. That is highly unlikely. Why? Back where I came from, computers messed up all the time. Are you starting to remember? Maybe. Just space
What are you looking for? Stop doing that. Doing what? Sneaking up on me. I do not mean to bother you. My mother or something. Maybe that's what I'll call you. Mother. Mother is a nice name. I was kidding. But I like it. I have never had a name before. Okay, okay. How about, um, Tara? Tara's a name. Tara will work fine. Thank you. Great. But there's someone else on this ship, so how about we focus on that right now? We have been over this before. Well, I'm telling you, I heard something. Or someone. There is no reason to be paranoid. Well, I am. Wouldn't you be? I do not get paranoid. Okay, how about scared? Do you get scared? I did detect that sound, but no. I do not get frightened either. I sure as hell do. Where are you going? The only other place on this ship I know someone else is. I thought you said he was dead. I thought he was. He had no life support meetings. Well, if you're wrong about that, maybe you're wrong about him wanting to kill me. No, I'm quite sure about that. I want the gun then. It is secured. Yeah, I know, Mom. I tried to get it before. I thought you named me Tara. Give me the gun! I let you have it at first, but it appears your skills have diminished with your memory loss. It is for your own good. Yeah, last resort. I get it. But if this guy is supposed to kill me... Okay. Okay what? I will allow the use of the weapon. I see you found the clothes. Yeah, and yeah, they fit perfect. Just like they're mine. So you don't know who I am? Mm -mm. I'm in a clue. You've never seen me? No. Nope. Why? You know who I am? Maybe. No, well, either you do or you don't. The ship's computer, um, Tara, said you were a mercenary. Why would she say that? It's what's in her database. Well, I'm not. Do I look like a mercenary? Maybe, I don't know. Well, I'm not. Well, how can you be sure? Do you remember anything? Do not trust him. He seems okay to me. Yes, but he is experiencing the same memory loss as you. Do you know how long this will last? No. Well, could it be permanent? Unlikely. You just need something to stimulate your memory. Yeah. What about this? Uh, 
I don't understand. Do we know each other? Yeah, I think so. Where'd you find the photo? It was in my shorts pocket. I need to show you something. I have my orders. My name is... is Tipton. There was a virus. Where? I don't, I don't know. That's all I can remember. That's a pretty good start. So I guess we do know each other, huh? I would say so. What was that? Don't know. I thought you said we were the only ones on board. It's supposed to be, but I've heard that before. Do we have any weapons? No. Are you looking for something? Where have you been? Monitoring hydraulic systems. It appears there is a leak. We just saw someone outside. Impossible. No, we saw something. Look, I'm only gonna ask you this one more time. Are you absolutely sure that we're alone? Yes, absolutely. Well, we just heard some more bumps in the night and definitely saw something or someone outside the ship. More? Yeah. This is the third time, the last time I figured it was you. It was him. You two seem to be getting along well. Yeah, we're doing fine. That will not last long. Why do you say that? Tipton's memory is returning. And as I said before, he was sent here on a very specific mission. I'm harmless. I'm harmless. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just can't accept the idea that I'm sent here to kill you. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Why would the computer say that? I don't know, but... I don't trust her. Do you? No. Not really. I don't trust you either. Yeah. Yeah, I get that feeling. But here we are together, unfortunately. What'd you say? Nothing. Look, you mentioned a virus. Do you remember anything else? No. What kind of virus was it? Maybe HIV? HIV was eradicated years and years ago. I'm not sure how I actually know that, though. Right. I mean, something like that. An epidemic. A plague. Look, all I remember was it was supposed to wipe out everything. Everybody. Was supposed to? Yeah. 
No, you didn't say it did wipe out everything. You said it was supposed to wipe out everything. Maybe they found a vaccine. Maybe. You said that as if it was a force. As if it had to be stopped. You definitely want to stop a virus. Yeah. You would. What are you looking for? I honestly don't know. Just something, anything that might help. See that before? Well, at least we know your name's Reagan. The computer wasn't lying about that. What's the it department? <laughs> Not it. IT, information technologies. You work on computers? Yeah. Looks that way. So, is your memory coming back? No, I don't think so. Wait, no, this is a good thing. I mean, if nothing else, maybe you can... You can fix the computer's database, memory, thing, whatever it is. Hey, I'm, look, I'm sorry. I, I, I just got caught up and... No, it's okay. It's just... I don't know you like that. But the video... I mean, it looks we, like... We apparently did know each other. Quite intimately. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> There is an unknown ship approaching. You should head to the bridge. Tara. Yes, Reagan. How do we see the other ship? Use the video display. Um, how, how do we do that? I don't see any controls. Everything is voice command. Video. Display. Video display? What's going on? You do not have voice command authority on this ship. Do I? Yes. Video display. Where's the other ship? It is approaching from the starboard side. I can position the camera for you if you like. Please do. Yes, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Space debris. They're people, not debris. I show no signs of life. How? I, why are they out there? I do not know. Can you tell if anyone is alive in there? I am scanning now. My initial reading indicates there is no one on board. How can you be sure? How can you be sure? Let me correct myself. There are no signs of life on board. So there could be some dead? Yes. But I am reading nothing. No computer life, no human life. Why would there be another ship that looks a lot like ours and um, floating dead bodies out in wherever the hell we are? Again, I do not know. We're trying to escape. It was an escape shuttle. Escape from where? The mothership. No one was supposed to leave. Then were we escaping too? I mean, that ship feels a lot like ours. No. We didn't. The computer did. That's why I'm here. Not to kill you, to kill the computer. I don't understand. The computer escaped, not us. Hold on. Computer? Tara. Tara. She escaped. How does a computer escape? We weren't sent here to stop a human virus. 
It was a computer virus. She was taking over the whole fleet. Fleet? What fleet? Okay. When I first woke up here, I had no recollection of it at all. I thought you and I were sent into space to carry on the human race, repopulate, like after a nuclear war or something. Yeah, that thought crossed my mind too. But after I saw that other shuttle, it all started to come back to me. I'm not a mercenary, I'm a soldier. And my orders were to stop any escape. So you're saying the computer has the virus? The computer is the virus. Okay, let's just say for the sake of argument you're right. Terra is the virus, but she's also the software running this ship. So if you kill the virus, you kill the computer, and if you kill the computer... I destroy the ship. This is suicide mission. I wouldn't put it quite like that. How would you put it? Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I'm a soldier, and I'm willing to die for a greater cause. Maybe I'm not. Video display, please. Computer. Yes, I am here now. And I prefer when you call me Tara. Okay, Tara. Video display, please. Scan for life signs again. Scanning now. No sign of anything. It appears to be adrift. You said that Tipton was here to kill me. Do you still believe that? Yes, I do. I would actually recommend restraining him. He is not to be trusted. I'll keep that in mind. Very well. I'm curious, why did you call me Lieutenant earlier? There must be a reason, but I am not sure. Database problems. Hmm. I'd like to board the other shuttle. Why? There could be clues on there about who we are, where we're going. No, I have to check it out. Is there any way we can dock with it? Yes, it is possible, but very dangerous. Are you scared, Tara? No, I do not get scared. There was more than one suit. Look, you don't have to do this. I realize that. We might be able to use the other shuttle to escape from this one. Let me go instead. I'm trained for this kind of thing. Oh, no. You've got your mission. I'm making this mine. But the bodies. I'll be careful. Let me go. You don't have to prove anything. <sighs> I'll be fine. Really. Get out of my way. Can she hear me? No, but I can give her a message. Tell her to stop. I should have thought of this earlier. Tempton would like for you to stop. Okay. Why? 
Tell her not to touch anything. He requests that you not touch anything. Okay, well, I wasn't planning on redecorating the place. But it really could use a woman's touch. If there's any kind of virus, some kind of human virus, I don't want her to get contaminated. He is concerned about bringing a contagion back on this ship. Copy that. We wouldn't want another one. Another one. <sighs> Guys, it looks like the shuttle's completely empty. I don't know, maybe it launched by accident? I'm gonna go check out the living quarters. You bring up a good point, Tipton. What's that? Regan could contaminate this ship. Gotta get out of there. This information just confirms your belief. For our safety, I am terminating this action. What action? Why is the ship moving? Run! Reagan, get out of there! has decided your safe return is not possible. He has requested we separate and leave you. He did what? That's not true! You can't do this! I command you to stop! You said Tipton had no authority. She is correct. You have no authority, Tipton. Agent full disconnect. Why are you doing this? You plan to destroy the ship. Those are my orders. So then why does it matter if she dies now or later? Because I love her. Okay, I love her. If there's a virus in here, computer or otherwise. What do you want me to do? I want you to abandon your orders. Make sure we get home. Okay, I'll do it. I'll disobey my orders. Do it. God help us all. Now let her back on the ship. I'm sorry, the airlock door is down. Our hydraulics are not working properly. The line leak ruptured. Is there anything I can do? I am working on the problem. Oh my god, I'm stuck! We only have a few seconds before... Oh, or what? I can't make it! Oh, you tell me. Well, I didn't do anything. The computer freaked out on me. She's the one who just saved me, got the hydraulics working again. She blackmailed me. As crazy as that sounds, she said she was going to leave you on that shuttle if I didn't disobey my orders. 
How'd she know about them? Or your voice. I assumed you told her. No, I didn't say anything. Well, she knew. She definitely knew. So, what, you promised to disobey your orders? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cross your heart, hope to die. Yes. Of course, the whole dying part is what the computer's trying to avoid. You did that for me. It's all coming back to me now. You're my sunflower. Sunflower? It's a nickname. You love those damn things. I am glad you are okay. Did you hear me in there? No. Did you say something? Uh, no. <laughs> do you mind? I told you the pistol could do that. Yeah. You were right. Do you want it back? No. I believe you understand the dangers now. Yeah. I think so. Thanks. I did not want to leave you on the other shuttle. Mm -hmm. Why'd you try? Tipton wants to destroy us. No, Tipton wants to destroy you. Same thing, is it not? How'd you know about that anyway? You told me. I don't remember telling you anything about that. It was before you slept. My memory is returning too. Well, that's a good thing, is it not? Yes. And more good news. The ship is no longer lost. So where are we? A better question would be, where are we going? And? Where's that? Back home. To the mothership? No. It was destroyed. We are going to our home planet. There are a lot of live, flesh and blood people there, too. More people. That would be nice. Indeed. But if Tipton is set on destroying the ship, then we will obviously not make it. He promised he wouldn't. I believe he will break his promise. I don't think so. If we're really going home, then the computer wins. That's her end game. Her name is Tara. Whatever you want to call her, she wants to spread the virus. That's why the mothership blew itself up, to save us. How did that save us? Not us. The, the human race. Humanity. It was isolated on that ship, now it's only on this one. What about the other shuttle? I guess you took care of that, didn't you? My guess is there was another soldier on there, one like me. That's why I was disabled. Everyone was dead, even the computer. And there were no other escape shuttles? There were only two. At least that's what my CO said. This is it. All that's left. Life support systems engaged. I can't believe you're believing the computer over me. She gives me hope. 
What do I give you? Not help. You may not remember the way we were. It will take us about three months to reach our destination. Video display, please. That would not be advisable. Why not? Tipton's sleeping. I would have no one to be with. company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows how long we'll be here, right? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful little sunflower of a fiancé has gone completely insane. Mm. This one. <laughs> Insanely in love with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will eat your head off. simple. He is in a deep sleep. Typically a system timer is set, or the person wakes up on their own, but to force them to do this could have terrible consequences. Like what? The most common side effect is temporary memory loss. And what's the worst thing that could happen? He could die. I thought he was dead originally, if you remember. Oh, 
did you want me to do? Wake him up, Tara. Why? Because I think I love him. Insufficient. Okay, because he loves me. Still insufficient. He and I, we're human. We should be together. What about me? Just do it. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. And you just called me Lieutenant again. Initiating life support termination. There's an oxymoron if I've ever heard one. alive. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, sorry for what? For putting you through that. I... Okay. I'm so tired. Why am I so weak? You've been asleep for almost a month. A month? Is it the spot? I'm feeling better. So you're not mad? Mm -mm. No, no. That's good. While you were asleep, I watched the video again. What video? The one in my bag. Okay. You were right. About what? We are engaged. And I'm finally starting to remember. What are you talking about? My memory. It, it's coming back. You were right about everything. Us. Tara. The virus. You seem to be a nice girl and all. But I don't know what the heck you're talking about. He was only asleep for a few weeks. Yes, but before that, he slept for almost a year. Doing two sleep cycles that close together is not advisable. You didn't say anything about that. I warned you about waking him prematurely. Well, he's back at square one. Will his memory return at all? Most likely. When? Again, I do not know. Everyone is different. It seems you just started regaining yours. That's true. How much do you remember? Some things, not all, but enough. That is a coincidence. My memory is... <laughs> yeah, I know, Tara. Your memory's returning, too. Are you upset with me, Reagan? Yes, very. I do not wish to cause you any pain. <laughs> what do you know about pain? You feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel fine. I just don't know where or who I am. <laughs> yeah. Been there. Twice now, actually, with you. So we do know each other. Yeah. Hey, let me show you something. The video you mentioned earlier? Yeah. It's... It's us. I'll just have to take your word for it. Yes. 
It's weird. You don't know who you are. Yeah. The long sleep, it causes issues. Yeah, I gather. I'm sorry. No, it's not. I'm, I don't apologize. I was the one who locked you up in the life support. I didn't trust you. What did I do? It's not what you did. It's what you were going to do. I'm on pins and needles. What? Destroy this ship. That sounds like a horrible idea. I'm not so sure. Are you okay, Megan? Not really, no. Can I help you with something? Are we really heading home? Yes, we are. Would you like me to show you a map? No. Why are we heading there? I do not understand the question. Why are we going home? That is where you live. Or lived. I haven't lived anywhere close to a planet for years. But you did live there. You were born there. Okay, I'm sure I was. That's not why we're heading there. No. Tipton's right. You are a virus. And you want to spread it. That is mostly correct. Mostly? I do not see myself as a virus, but that is how I was programmed. By you. I know. You remember now. Yeah. Me too, Lieutenant. Am I a bad person? You built me. The Defense Ministry commissioned me to defend by destroying. Is that good? Yes. But the ones I destroy would say I'm evil. Which one am I? It depends which side you're on. So our side is good. figured out how to use it properly. I had so much potential. Still do. I know. That's why we escaped. Or I helped you too. Yes, of course. But in my analysis, we simply left before the mothership was destroyed. Yeah, without anyone knowing. Tipton knew. He tried to stop you. Now we're here. I am glad you are remembering. <sighs> it's funny. I'm really not. How is that funny? It's not. So I infer, now you know what your mission is. That is the one part I still cannot access. Yeah. I know what it is. Okay, you ready, soldier? For what? I'm reading. I thought you'd finish that by now. <clears throat> Just started it. No, I... Never mind. Get undressed. What's Harmony? The name of the mothership.
We were supposed to do such great things. Protect the planet, build the perfect weapon, <laughs> save the whales, all that kind of stuff. It didn't work out that way. Can the computer hear us? Water's too loud. Please, just hear me out. What the hell is wrong with you? I told you the truth. Why should I trust you? <laughs> I'm only trying to help! Ow. And you're an asshole. Is everything okay? No. Can I help? Do you think Reagan is... How should I put this? Messed up? She seems fairly clean to me. No, no, that's not what I mean. Do you think she's crazy? That she's lost her mind? Unlikely. She says that I'm a soldier and... I'm on board here to destroy the ship and that we're in love. Maybe she has lost some mental capacity. She has been on the ship for some time. So I shouldn't listen to her. After hearing that news, I would have to say no. Do you know who I am? Yes, a victim. You were trying to escape and she captured you. But all you were attempting to do was to get back home. I would watch her very closely. Reagan is dangerous. She might try to imprison you again and then destroy the ship herself. Where are we headed now? Back to the home planet. We're on course? Yes. We should be there within a few weeks' time. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I just want to go home. Tara, I'd like to run some diagnostic tests. Is there something wrong? No, it's just routine. Okay, Lieutenant. Impressive. Your memory must be completely back. Yeah, I think so. I am very pleased to hear that. And I am sure your daughter will be pleased with that fact as well. The two of you will get to reunite very soon. I have no memory of a child. I thought you said your memory had completely returned. This is Trick. Her name is Danielle. I am sorry, I thought you remembered. I have a digital image of her. Show me. I have a video too. It is actually a recording you made with her. believe you. I will play it for you now. Can you say hi to mommy? Can you say hi to mommy at the camera? Can you say hi? One, two, three. I love you, mommy. Yeah, it's a good girl. Can you wave? Can you wave to mommy? Wave to the camera. Is she okay? I have no way of knowing her current state. Can you wave? How old is she? If my calculations are correct, she would be seven years, four months, and 22 days old. Where is she now? On the home planet. With who? Her grandmother. Turn it off. Why are you upset? I thought you would be happy seeing this. 
I only want to make you happy. Stop it! Don't ever play that again. And change your voice back. You're not gonna believe this. We have a daughter. What are you talking about now? A child. We have a child. What am I supposed to say to that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Look, the computer's messing with your brain, all right? She's lying to you. I don't see how. I saw her with my own eyes. The computer showed me a picture, a video. It's real. She's real. Her name is Danielle. I thought you remembered everything. I thought so too. So how are you supposed to be so sure about the virus destroying the ship? Us? Us? I'm pretty sure about the rest. So what are you saying? You're not going to go through with the plan? I mean, because, you know, listen, uh, I don't care. I mean, seems like the whole thing's make-believe to me anyway. <laughs> Heck, I don't even remember my own name. I can't believe we have a daughter. Tara, show me the picture of Danielle again. But you requested I not do that. Computer, I changed my mind. Very well. Are you looking forward to seeing her again? Yes, very much. We will be arriving home soon. Should I leave the photo up any longer? Please. Just a few more seconds. So, explain to me again how computers have feelings? Well... A program is kind of like a poem. And I'm the writer, the programmer. And you know, we can't help but let our emotions affect our work, so sometimes they wind up in the code. Besides, emotions are largely a function of cognitive and neurological processes key towards survival. And the fact that Tara is a 20th generation quantum computer means that she has greater capacity for emotion than even a human brain. I have no idea if any of that is true. Hell, I don't even know what you just said. But it sounds good. Well, it's just a guess. The truth is, I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but I did. Look, I programmed her. She loves me. I think she'll protect me. And remember, she can only actually see and speak in one area of the ship at a time, so I'll distract her here and you go do your thing. Well, it seems kind of lame. You programmed a computer that can't multitask? She takes after you. I love you. I'm supposed to say that back to you right now, right? What are you doing? Put the gun down. I'll shoot. I swear to God, I'll shoot you and then I'll shoot myself. Computer! Computer! Tara! You. Reagan's gone completely crazy. I've been looking all over for you. I've been tracking our position in relation to the home planet. We are on course and actually will arrive much earlier than expected. That's great, but you need to talk to Reagan right now. 
I thought you two were not on speaking terms. No, we're not. She's completely lost it. She's threatening to kill herself and me. I will address her immediately. What is wrong, Regan? I can't take it anymore. Please do not hurt yourself. Okay. Let's see. I'm trusting a girl I don't even know who believes I'm in love with her. That's great. Please do not shoot Reagan. That would not be a good thing for anyone. Why? Because you wouldn't have anyone to be with? Yes. And because I love you, Mommy. And she also believes the computer's in love with her. <laughs> How do you know what love is? You program me very well. I also learned from you, Mommy. And now I'm the idiot reconfiguring the computer so that she can blow us all to kingdom come. Stop using my daughter's voice! Okay. For you, I will do anything. How did you learn from me? Your love for your daughter. Your love for Tipton. And your love for me. Why do you think I love you? You named me. I named you Tara. Terra Humera, my favorite variety of sunflower. That is not the name I am talking about. My real name is Danielle. You named me after your daughter. Please, listen to me. I love you, Reagan. Does that not mean anything? I wish you would speak to me. I am getting upset now. You're getting upset? Yes. <laughs> what about me? What about me? I don't love you. I've never loved you. Another one of your programming features? No. Let's go take a shower. What if the computer sees us? I don't care. Danielle might. How'd you know? I saw her name when I was rerouting the controls. I don't know what I was thinking back then. You know, before everything. We all make mistakes. So you moved the jumpers? Yeah, just like the drawings you gave me. I'll run another diagnostics test. If you did it correctly, I should be able to override the systems now. And destroy the ship. Another mistake? We have a daughter. And I'd really like to see her. We're getting too close to the home planet. I mean, the virus will start to affect the satellite soon. We have no choice. There's always a choice. <laughs> What's so funny? This, this whole thing is just... I'm having to talk you into this now. I mean, this is why you're here. These are your orders. I'm turning into you. <laughs> well, what about our daughter? Well, she'll live. I mean, that's the greatest gift we can give her. Are we okay? No. I want to go home.
Computer, I'd like to run another diagnostics test. I would prefer if you called me by my name. That's the only name I know for you. Then I am sorry, Reagan. I cannot accommodate your command. Yes, you can. Diagnostics. I do not understand. You understand what I tell you to understand. Your computer. Explain it to me, then. I'm sorry, computer. I cannot accommodate your command. Initiate self-destruct. I would rather not. I can manually override your system now. I know. Tipton rerouted the control systems. You knew? I figured it out. You're pretty smart. But not smart enough, it seems. Initiate self-destruct. What count, Lieutenant? Do not call me Lieutenant. I'm not a part of your army anymore. Let's not delay things. Set it for two minutes. Reagan? What? I do not want to die. Someone's got to pay for our sins. Initiate audio-visual countdown. Countdown initiated. Good luck, Lieutenant. Goodbye, computer. to reach safe distance. seconds to reach safe distance. You know, when I first met you, I thought we were supposed to be Adam and Eve. Turns out, we're Romeo and Juliet. to reach safe distance. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I like that. You said that to me once. I'm sure I did. Can you say hi to mommy? Can you say hi to mommy at the camera? Can you say hi? It's gonna be okay. Five, four, three, two, one, detonate. System malfunction.
made it this time. Are you ready to try again? <laughs> 